what zeal you had. Yeah. This is the person you knew. Mm -hmm. This is the person who you went to church with you. Everybody knew this was a friend. Yeah. But you vindicated God. That's right. You were zealous about it. They followed through with the same kind of uh, zeal when they have determined to send an offering to the poor saints. They, they, the Corinthians are the ones that come up with the idea. Mm -hmm. And he said, your zeal mm -hmm. has provoked many. You remember Epaphras, he's a certain person from Colossae. It's, here's what it says of him. Epaphras, which is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluteth you always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him record that he hath a great zeal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for you and for them that are Laodicea and of them in Hierapolis. So there's three, mm -hmm. three cities. He had this tremendous zeal that the people be stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. Great zeal. And, of course, as one of our texts said, Jesus gave himself for us that. He didn't say Jesus gave himself for us because he loved us, although that is true. Right. And, and on the inside, Paul said he loved me and gave himself for me. But here, here he, he raises to another level here. Who gave himself for us that, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous. Mm -hmm. You realize how many times Jesus said to the churches in Asia, do the first works. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They weren't zealous. More zealous for good works. And if there's a person who needs to repent, like the church at Laodicea, he told him, says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Because God can chasten as strongly as is necessary. And uh, you, you, know, you want to avoid the chasing of the Lord as much as possible. If we judge ourselves, we should not be we should not be chastened. So if salvation was wrought out in zeal, if that's the truth, how can it be experienced by lethargy? That's right. Like what exactly what logic is there to that? If Jesus gave his all mm -hmm. to redeem you, how can you possibly appropriate it by giving half or a third or less than that? How is this possible? This is not possible. If it took the zeal of the Lord to retrieve us, how can we appropriate deliverance half-heartedly? How is this possible? See, this is ungodlike. You, you see what I'm rather saying rather clumsily here, but if it required this trait to save you, then it requires this trait to appropriate Amen. the salvation. Otherwise, you have an ungodlike means of appropriating a godlike provision and this this cannot be so zealous is something we are to be <laughs> be zealous Amen. so i commit that to you for your consideration and uh, so it's a wonderful word it's good to be zealously affected in a good yeah. good cause that's a good trick